Welcome to Magic Info Services. In this video, I will show you a more advanced way of working with our YoYo solution. Now, YoYo is great when you want to trigger content to a certain display, but it's also possible to trigger content to multiple displays. And in this video, we will show you how to do so. So here I have three devices set up, ready to be triggered. So I will now put the first trigger on the reader and it will show one video on one device. Now next up is another chip which shows one image on two devices. I have an image spread across three devices as well. And last but not least, I got one video on every single device as well. So here again I will show you how to do so. One video on one device. And you can see there are two NFC readers on the table. And it doesn't matter where the chip gets placed on, both readers will read the same chip. So here you can see the chip being placed on both chips and they will all show the same content on the same devices. I will now explain how I have configured all of this. In the very first video of the YoYo installation, which I will link down below, you can see the setup of an easy YoYo setup. Now this video is a bit more complicated, since you saw that one trigger can be spread across multiple devices. So right now I will show you how I have done that. At first you will have to create your LFD file. So here is my LFD file and the very first page is my master page or also known as the home page within YoYo. Now the second page is for content that I want to show and same for the other pages as well. So as you can see the first video was for the first clip where one video was shown on one device. These two images are shown on two devices and these three images are shown on three devices and the last video is shown on all three devices as well. Now what have I done to accomplish this? In the edit event here you can see the events that are going on. The very first one is the green trigger. So as I mentioned the green trigger will go to page 2 which will be the video on one device. Now I have one red chip but I create two triggers for that chip because it will send one trigger to both devices. So since I've split my content into half as you can see because at the bottom my image has been split in half I've done this in Photoshop so this is an example on how to split your image. So what actually will be done if whenever I put my red chip on the NFC reader, it will show two pages, which are these two. So which are page uh, three and four. And for the next step is from the blue chip is I created three triggers, which all go to a different page as well, because I've split this image into three images, which will be spread across three devices. And for the final one, it's black, the black chip, that one goes to page 8, which is actually the same video as the first one you can see right here as well. Now, once that is done, you also have to make sure you go to every page and insert the home trigger. Because this means whenever you lift up your NFC chip of the reader, it will go back to the home page, which is my gray background. If you do not fill in the home trigger, the content will stay on the display. But this is one way of doing it. You can also use the reversed way of putting content on there, which means lifting it up from the NFC reader and then showing the content. Now, how does it look like in YoYo? Here is my back end of my YoYo device. So what I've done with the first green chip is that it will show content into one target. Now the targets are the devices, so this will be the IP address of your device. Next up are my two red triggers. But remember, I only have one red chip. But one trigger will go to one display and the other trigger will go to the other display. Which is because of my content that I hear is split in half. Now next up is for the blue chip. Remember, I only have one blue chip but three blue triggers. As you can see, each trigger has a different IP address. And this is because there are three images 
each sending to an IP address. And the final one is the black one, which is going to all displays simultaneously. So that's why I added the same video twice, because the very first video will only be shown on one device, and the very last video will be shown on all three devices simultaneously. And this is how you add multiple devices into the target. So you basically have one full name, no spaces in between, just this symbol as a connector, which means it will show onto every device that is coming after this as well. And also you have to make sure that the pickup trigger is home and it's very capital sensitive. So please be aware of that as well. So I can now show examples here in the edit part, as you can see, which is actually the same information as you saw before. But here you can see the tag, the name and the name of the pickup trigger and the target. Now, if we go to the final one, which is the most complicated one because it has multiple IP addresses of the devices in there. So you can just fill them in as long as they are connected to the same network, of course, and make sure the place down triggers and the pickup triggers are provided with the right names. Be aware of the capitals. So here the pickup triggers are the triggers that you can actually find back when you go to edit events. See, this is home. Now, if I would have home here with all small letters, it will not go back to the home display because it's capital sensitive. And here at the edit event part, as I mentioned, you can see every trigger. So here in the red one, which is the trigger name that you can find back right here. So these are the trigger names that you will have to find back right here. If they do not match, the trigger will not be successful. And you have to make sure the right page gets chosen as well. Now, as you saw, there are two readers connected to my yo-yo device and actually the yo-yo device reads both of them as one yeah, so you can place them around as long as they are connected to your yo-yo device and you can put all chips on all readers without any issue and they will all show the same content on the same displays as long as everything is within the same network so this the last video which shows the video on all devices can be used if you have devices hanging around multiple places and you want to show the same video throughout the entire venue, which is a really great tool to get the attention. Now, and by doing this, there are more possibilities on how to work with YoYo. If you have any questions about your scenario, feel free to contact us and we're more than happy to help you. Thanks for watching.